Hello and welcome to my tutorial about to get your custom weapon into UDK. First of all you have to create your weapon. In my case it's a AK-47. Now you have to go to animation. No, 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 no. First you have to add a bone. Add amateur single bone. Then you have to, have to place, yeah, no bone is here. Add amateur single bone. Okay, here it is. Now you have to place it right to the weapon. Scale it up. Like this, rotate it 90 degrees and put it up to the weapon. Like this. Okay, now you have to click onto your weapon, in my case, barrel. Then, object constraint, add constraint, child off. Here you have to click onto target, amateur, uh, so your amateur, bone to your bone, then set inverse. Now we can try it out if it had worked. Um, click onto amateur, then go into pose mode and try it out. And so we can see it has worked. Now we go to the position zero and then we go into animation. So here we put the start to zero and the end to let's say 30. Then we click onto this this record keyframes and onto this case keys. Okay, now we can animate the weapon. Go here to zero and put this a little bit back. So it sets the curl first keyframe. Then we put this to the half. Click here. Go back with this. Then we go to the end and do it a little bit into the front. So let's see if it has worked, and yep, it has worked. Now we go to NLA editor, and then onto this, this little button here, and it has created the animation. Then we go to the default view. So let's test it out, and the animation plays. Now we have to go to File, Export, Autodesk FBX, then go to Desktop, and save it on the AK. Okay, let's delete it. AK47, AK. Um, this is not going to go away. Anyway. And then we have to click to export FBX. Good. Now we have to go to Windows or yeah, to your UDK directory. UDK, Development, SRC, UT Game, Classes. Now we can take any file you want, just click on it. Then copy it and put it into your file or your yeah, directory. Okay, copy it a second time and rename it. Like this ut web underscore test web one. Wait a test web one. Yeah. And the the, the other the other file you have to call ut attachment underscore test web web one. Okay, now you go into the files, delete everything, save it. Next file, delete everything and save it. Now you take my code. So I go into my thing, my Files, click on it, and yeah, wrong files. Here they are, and copy everything. First one into UT Web Test Web 1. Save. And the second into UT Attachment Test Web. And save. Now I can close this other thing, attachment, if I don't attachment, just wait. okay. Now we're going to the files and call it UT Web Test Web 1. We have to call it like your name, like your file name. So in my case, UT Web Test Web 1. UT Web Test Web. You can also call it UT Web underscore AK47. So let's save this. Then we have to go into the attachment and call UT attachment test web 1.
here you can also take your name or you have to take your name okay now we're going to UDK and there we have to import our weapon yeah takes a while so here you have to go to import desktop AK let's call it test web here you have to choose Clatter Mesh and then Import Animations, Import Rigged Animations and Resample Animations. OK to all. OK, now save it. Yeah, save it. Then we have to check if it works. OK, where is it? Test web here. Fully loaded. And we see it has worked. The AK is in UDK and the animation too. Um, let's see. Yes, it works. Now we have to click on the skeletal mesh, right click, copy full name to clipboard. Then we have to go into to our UT web test web. There we have to copy our name to skeletal mesh, put it in, and here to skeletal mesh and put our skeletal mesh in. So when you have to put your own skeletal mesh to this place, every, everywhere where everywhere where stands skeletal mesh, you have to put your mesh into it. So in my case, this one and this one, and it named testweapon.ak. So now we have to save it. Then we go into our UDK, click onto animat and right click, copy full name to clipboard and put our animations to NMZ0 and to NMZ1 here it's the same case as at the Sklet Mesh you have to use your own your own NMZ save it after that we go to this this lines here here you can choose your damage I take yeah, 20 and your fire interval um yeah here you can try around and yeah see how it works at weapon fire sound we can choose our sound therefore you have to go you have to import your own sound i have done it right here um sound wave a sound cue you need so double click and you hear a m41 no no m4 sound now the same thing, copy for the clipboard and put everything here at the sounds. I have done it so I don't do it again. Just replace this this lines. After that we go to weapon fire anim. Therefore you have to go to your UDK browser, go into your test web, double click on anim set, go to anim, and there you yeah, first we delete AK default take, delete sequence, and then you have to type this name to your script. So I have to call it AK underscore error match action. Armature action, armature action. And so. Now save it. The shots cost you can say how much how much one shot cost. So in my case one shot costs one ammo. The maximum ammo count, you can choose your ammo count. Weapon range, you have to for melee weapons you have to put one, then it's a melee weapon. For long range weapons you have to, you have to put like twenty thousand. So then we come to the zoom. When you want to zoom in you have to use this script. Here you can choose in which fire mode you zoom and how much you zoom. So in my case 9000. And then we come to to the when you need it to a torch or to a flashlight at your weapon. So you can you can use it in dark rooms as a flashlight. So just copy this. And yeah thanks for for the UDK forum forum they have said it to me how it works. Yeah, now save it. Then we go to our UT attachment test weapon. There we have to 
uh, extend you in attachment. There we have to replace this clad mesh. So go to AK, right click, copy full name to clipboard, and replace it. And replaced. Here is the muscle flash and the impact effect. So yeah, you can delete it or you can use it. I have used the particular system from Gas 661 Dark Arts 3D weapons and the effect from Dark Arts 3D weapons. So when you want this effect, you have to go to darkarts3d.com, I think. There you get the weapons. Good, save it. Then we have to save everything and go out of the program. Now we we copy these two files into UDK, UDK, UDK directory, development, SRC, UT game, classes, and then put it in. So let's go into UDK editor. <laughs> Now we have to to build the script. Click on yes. Then it loads. I hope we will got we we'll get no errors. What we will see. <laughs> so six warnings. Yeah, you can you can solve these warnings, but yeah, I don't do it because they are not dangerous for our project. Now go to UDK editor, Android development, let's start. <laughs> loading, loading, loading. Ah, <laughs> this takes so long. Loading, loading, loading. Loading, loading, loading. How oh, come out? Loading. And here we are. Okay, now we take a few. Browser, browser windows, actor classes, pickups, weapon, UT weapon, pickup factory, double click and choose UT web test web 1, then view world properties, UT deathmatch, and spawn. So you see, we, yeah, the weapon is at the wrong position, but it fires. So let's solve this problem. Let's go to the content browser, to our weapon, double click, then here at rotate rotate origin we have to put in minus 180, I think. Let's try it out. And we see we have the weapon in our hands and it fires. We see the muscle flash and everything is here. So we also can zoom in, like this. It's the right mouse button. And yeah, now we put some materials to it. Let's take, import the material and take, I take this material. And here we can choose it, material. Let's try it out another time. And you see, I have a uh, material now. Huh? It's not very good. No, no, no. So, the, yeah, with the materials. Now I show you how it looks like in the dark. So we go to quit level, blank map, don't save. It puts. Landscape 127, 127, great landscape. Let's put some actor class, UT pickup factory, UT test by one. Let's put some Addison buildings, buildings, buildings. Let's put, uh, let's put a tower in here. So, let's see if it works in dark. Okay, we have no no game type. You teach you have much. Play from here, and you see there's also light in here. 
and the weapon. <laughs>